Hey, welcome back to SNS Grills. I'm Jabin from Postal Barbecue, and today at the grill, we're making up some amazing blue cheese bacon smokehouse burgers that are gonna blow you away. You're gonna love it for sure. These burgers are thick, juicy, and absolutely packed full of flavor. So let's get into the cook. As I said, welcome back to SNS Grills. I appreciate you being here. Today at the grill, we're gonna be making a delicious blue cheese and bacon smokehouse burger that's absolutely wonderful. You're gonna love it for sure. There's not much to do to prepare this dish. Um, all you're gonna need is some 80-20 ground beef, some blue cheese, some bacon, onion, and some condiments of your choice. But today I'm gonna be making a delicious barbecue mayo that goes absolutely incredible on this blue cheese burger. And so what I have to get started with is one pound of 80-20 ground beef, and I'm I'm gonna just uh, press this down like this and then I'm gonna take some blue cheese and we're gonna put a little bit of blue cheese in this burger patty and so I uh, go ahead and just dump in a little bit of this blue cheese a crumble I'm just gonna fold this in you don't want to press too much you're just gonna fold it in nicely There we go, that's folded in nicely. So I'm just gonna separate this into approximately two uh, half pound balls of meat. And the goal with these is we want them to be thick because the thicker they are, the more juices we're gonna retain in the final cook. And so I'm gonna take this burger and I'm gonna uh, form it into a patty. Just gonna press that down. And I want this patty to be just slightly larger than the bun that I'm using because this burger is gonna shrink down just a little bit. And so we want this burger to be about the same size diameter as the bun once it's finished cooking. There we go, just look at that. You can see it's fairly thick. It's got some nice shape to it. And this is gonna be the perfect size for this burger today. These burgers are formed exactly how I like them. So now it's time to season these burgers. So I'm gonna start with a little bit of kosher salt. I'm gonna sprinkle some of that on both sides. Next, I'm gonna add on our not just for beef rub, and this stuff goes great on beef, especially burgers, but there is no salt in it, and that is why I seasoned it with the salt prior to this step. And this is gonna add a little bit of pepper and some other garlic and onion flavors on there. And so just go ahead and uh, place an, a light coating of this onto the outside of these burgers. There we go. And then I'm gonna flip these over and we're gonna do the same to the other side. Start with our kosher salt. And then again, I'm gonna hit it with that notch just for beef rub. All right, there we go. And so with our burger patties all prepared, let me show you how I set up the Sloan's here kettle for today's cook. So to set up the Sloan's here kettle today, I'm using the Sloan's here as well as our dripping griddle pan. And so to get everything set up, I first of all placed in about 15 briquettes into the Sloan Sear and I got those coals fully lit. Next, I filled up the remainder of the Sloan Sear basket until it was about three quarters of the way full. Once the Sloan Sear kettle was filled up, I then closed the lid and adjusted my top vent about a third of the way open as well as the smoke hole a third of the way open with our bottom vent fully closed. With the grill sitting between 250 and 275 degrees, let's go ahead and get these burgers onto the grill opposite the coals. Because these burgers are so thick, I am gonna take my SNS 500 digital thermometer and I'm gonna place uh, a probe into the thickest part of one of these burgers. And I'm also gonna take a few strips of bacon. I'm gonna place this onto the grill as well. And then the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of hickory wood and I'm gonna place this directly over those coals, to add a little bit of smoky flavor to these burgers. And so with everything on our grill, I'm gonna close up our lid and I'm gonna begin cooking these burgers until they reach an internal temperature between 135 and 140 degrees. And then at that point, I'm gonna mix up our coals and we're gonna prepare for our final sear. While these burgers are cooking away on the Sloan Sear kettle, I'm gonna go ahead and make up a delicious barbecue mayo sauce. It's gonna go really nice with these blue cheese burgers. And so to get started, I have a quarter cup of mayonnaise and place that into my dish. And then to that, I have two tablespoons of barbecue sauce and go ahead and use your favorite barbecue sauce. And then to that, I have one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce and pour that in. 
And then lastly, I'm gonna add in about two tablespoons of pickle juice. And this is gonna add a little bit of tang to this sauce. It goes really nice in here. There we go. And then I'm just gonna quickly mix this together carefully. All right, there we go. That's the consistency that I'm looking for. And so let me go ahead and just give it a quick taste and see if it's missing anything. Ooh, oh, that's so good. You can really taste the creaminess and that barbecue with that bit of zip and tang on the back end. This is gonna go really nice with this blue cheeseburger. And so I'm gonna place this off to the side, let those flavors just blend together a little bit more while we wait for these burgers to finish. So it's been about 35 minutes since I put these burgers into the Sloan Sear kettle and our ambient temperature has been rock steady the entire time, around 260 degrees. And so let's open up the grill and prepare for our final sear. Guys, just look at these burgers first. You can see that there's some really nice color forming from that hickory wood that we put in there. And this is just gonna add so much extra flavor. You'll notice that the bacon isn't fully done yet. And so this is where the final sear comes in. And so I'm gonna mix together our lit and unlit briquettes into the center portion of the Sloan sear. I'm also going to open up my bottom vent completely open. And this is gonna allow that airflow to really begin to get those coals nice and hot. And so while our coals are still a little bit on the cooler side, I'm gonna move our bacon directly over those hot coals just to finish crisping them up. There we go, I'll remove those from those coals. I'm gonna place them onto our cutting board uh, to let them cool just slightly because I am gonna be cutting them up and place them on top of our burger. All right, so with my coals nice and hot, I'm gonna to begin to sear them about 45 seconds on each side twice. And so I'm gonna just quickly move these back on the grill a little bit. And then I'm gonna spin these burgers around to sear directly over those coals. And then on this last flip, I am gonna add my cheese. This is a blue cheese slice. Grab my second one, place that directly on top. It's our final 45 seconds. I'm gonna spin this back around. Guys, these burgers look great already. The fact that we're using the sliced blue cheese means that it's gonna melt a little bit easier than using our blue cheese crumbles. And so I'm gonna let those just hang out for a few more minutes while I toast up my buns. And these are only gonna take a few seconds. And so you don't wanna walk away from your grill at this point. There we go, that looks pretty good. I'm gonna place these onto my cutting board and we're gonna to start to build these burgers. Okay, so to get started, I'm gonna take our burger sauce that we made earlier. I'm gonna place uh, this onto the bottom portion of the bun. And then I'm gonna grab a couple slices of uh, thinly sliced onion. And then I'm gonna place my burger on top of this. Just look at that, that looks amazing already. I'm gonna go ahead and grab some of our bacon. I'm gonna place that on top. And then lastly, I'm gonna grab a little bit more of this blue cheese crumble. I'm gonna place it on top of that bacon carefully. Add on a little bit more of this uh, barbecue mayo. And then I'm just gonna crown on top of this. Oh my, just look at that. That looks absolutely amazing. And so I'm gonna go ahead and build this second burger and then we'll get into the taste test. So in not much time at all, these bacon blue cheese smokehouse burgers are all done and they look and smell phenomenal. I can't wait to go for the taste test. And so I'm gonna cut it in half, first of all. Just look at that, it looks absolutely incredible. You can see there's still a lot of juices in that burger. And so let's go for the taste test and see how it is. Oh my goodness. 
Mm. There it is. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. You know, whether you love blue cheese or not, this bacon blue cheese burger is going to blow you away. Uh, first of all, the burger itself is juicy. It's smoky. It's absolutely delicious, especially because there's that blue cheese in there. And then we hit it with that not just for beef rub. It just screams deliciousness. And then you taste that blue cheese and that bacon that we put on this burger, and it just puts it over the top. You taste that creaminess, that bit of spiciness from the blue cheese, and then the richness or the bacon. Oh my goodness, this is phenomenal. When I can't get enough of it and so if you've never tried a blue cheese bacon burger like this before make sure to give it a try because you're not going to be disappointed at all mm. that's so good So that's how you make that bacon blue cheese smokehouse burger on the slow and sear kettle. I hope you give it a try and remember two zones are better than one.